I can't wait to see what this is like. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is gonna be so cute. I love the style of this whole outfit. Oh my goodness, this is so soft. Oh gosh, I love the look of this coat. Autumn haul. Oh my gosh, I nearly fell off my chair. I'm so excited to do this video. Um, I feel like. Oh, hello. Hello, booty booty. I want to say a quick hello. A quick hello. You're too big for this now. You're too big for this now. I know. I know. I know. Hello, this is my baby Mila. Okay, I'll put you down. You're too big. You're a big girl now. I'm so excited to film this video today. I feel like. Hello, it's like. What even is the date? The end of September. It is literally the end of September. I feel like I haven't even done an autumn haul. <laughs> Me! So, what I've basically done for this haul is I was thinking, like, oh, what kind of things do I want to unbox? What kind of places? I feel, like, really low down today. I could just move the camera, but I'm just going to sit on my feet instead. Oh, I thought instead of just kind of buying stuff for the sake of it, I know I'd, I knew I'd already done a massive... Boohoo order because basically I'm working with Boohoo on some stories on my Instagram So I did it a little while back where I do a sort of Boohoo order and then I unbox them on my Instagram stories It's kind of like a mini haul on the Instagram stories So I was working with Boohoo on that um, and so I did a massive order for that and then I was like well Why don't I just unbox it on my YouTube video? And I'm just so excited. I don't even want to wait until tomorrow. It literally arrived this morning I don't even want to wait until tomorrow to unbox it all and then I've also got some stuff from Nasty Girl and some stuff from I saw at first. We'll start with the Boohoo stuff. Just crack straight in. I feel like I haven't done one of these, well, I haven't done a Boohoo unboxing on my YouTube channel in ages, it feels like. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can see knitted jumpers. I'm so excited. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's a coat as well. There's a coat and a knitted jumper. This is like the autumn parcel, like the autumn package. Oversized. Also, my throat is feeling a little bit rusty today. I did go out with my friends last night and we may have drank a little bit too much red wine, as I always do. And my voice is very croaky and I'm feeling a little bit hungover. Like, I'm not feeling too bad today. I feel like the excitement for the haul was just like overriding the hungoverness. Um, but if my voice is a bit croaky, that's why. Okay, oversized rib knit boyfriend jumper. This is a great start in such a gorgeous autumny colour as well. Oh, okay. I'm just going to try it on. I better change out of my joggers because I think this will look better with a pair of denim jeans. Okay, I'm so excited. Also, please ignore my nails. I have chewed off. They were really cute autumn nails. I wish you guys had seen them before. Look, I do my little nail, autumn nails. They were really cute, but I started, you know, chewing them off because that's just what I do. Oh my goodness. This is the cutest little autumn outfit to start with. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay, so this is extremely oversized. First thing I'm gonna say, extremely oversized. This is a size small to medium. I believe they did small to medium, medium to large. As you can see, it's long. I'm five foot four, in case that helps give you an idea of how long it is. Um, and the sleeves are long, like as you can see, they're very long. But I like how the stitching like changes. I love it when it's kind of like a balloon sleeve, when it comes in tighter and then goes baggy. Like I really like that style. Um, and they are always very easy to roll over because they're tighter at the bottom so it is a personal sort of thing whether you like the super oversized jumper or not last year I bought a red sort of super oversized jumper and I was like I'm not sure it's a little bit different wore it constantly it was so easy to wear like when you just want a quick easy autumn outfit boom jeans white trainers these are my koi ones and these are my top shop jeans um, and an oversized jumper it's a little bit itchy I'm not gonna lie now it is hard when I'm doing my hauls, I get flustered, I get excited, I get very sweaty, and a lot of the time I'll try something on, I'll be like, oh, it's a little bit itchy, try it on the next day when I'm calm and a little bit less flustered and sweaty, and it's not so itchy. So, I am trying to be careful with saying things are itchy, because then the next day I'm like, oh, that's not itchy at all. But at the moment, this does feel a little bit itchy for me. I know I went over this last autumn, but itchy jumpers aren't so much of a problem for me anymore, because I wear long sleeve tops under all my jumpers, just in case. And also, obviously, tuck it in and sort of give yourself Wait, is this gonna... You can give yourself a little bit 
less of the oversized look if you want to tuck it in like that. It does tuck in still quite easily, but you're not going to be able to escape from this from the oversized look. So, okay, I'm going to leave the jumper on when I unbox this coat, this autumn coat. I'm so excited. Oh, it's soft. Oh my gosh. This is when all my like teddy bear fluffy coats come out. And James, who's my husband, still sounds so weird when I say that. Um, he hates like fluffy stuff, frilly stuff, like he's just, he's got like a fear of fancy dress and all this kind of fluffy fake hair, fake lashes, it all kind of ties into that so it freaks him out a little bit. Um, and I'm there with my fake lashes, extensions in. Honestly, never let that put, put you off wearing whatever you want to wear. I don't want to start my, you know, confidence rant this early on in the video, but it used to really get me down, like I used to take people's opinions and especially when it's your partner that you love with all your freaking heart, you're gonna stop wearing and feel like you should stop wearing stuff because they don't like it or whatever. And I know that's natural and sometimes you can't get away from feeling like that, but James doesn't want that from me. Just because he doesn't like something personally doesn't mean he doesn't want me to be happy and me to wear it and it took me a long time to get round to that and I feel so happy with the balance that I have in our relationship and I feel like it made our relationship so much stronger, just becoming independent people and being confident in ourselves and being like no you know what I really like this outfit I really like this piece of clothing and I'm gonna wear it and I feel really happy and confident okay he literally loves that for me and it took me a long time to notice that and realize that even though he told me that um, and so I hope you guys do the same thing and practice just being yourself and owning yourself and being confident. That's what's going to make you most attractive and most beautiful to your partner. Wow, we got into a self-love rant this early on in the video. That is a record for me. Ooh, oh my gosh, look how posh this is on the inside. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm really impressed with that. You know, because I'm trying to like go for more quality items, items that I feel like will last longer and it's little touches like this that make a difference, you know? Let's just put it on, it's freaking boiling in here. Woo! Okay, this is the cutest thing ever. Okay, oh my god, stop! I am so sorry if I'm feeling, be, feeling? If I'm being really dramatic and really annoying. I'm just really excited for this autumn haul and I will hopefully calm down a little bit. See, hopefully you can get a full view here. <gasps> There were a lot of fluffy coats to choose from, and there are gonna be a lot of fluffy coats to choose from this winter, autumn, blah, 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 because they were so fashionable last year, and they've already started coming out this year, and I know there's gonna be so many. This one just stole my eye, not stole my eye, stole my heart, like it just really caught my eye, and I was just like, it just seems like the right color, it just seems like the right fabric, like I just love it. Let's see what it looks like with, oh, that is such an autumn vibe. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I am feeling extremely cosy and autumn right now, but also really hot and sweaty because it's actually quite hot in this room. Um, I'm really happy that I don't want to take it off. Okay, I'm really happy that this um, coat fits a sort of chunky knitted jumper underneath. Obviously since last year I have gone up a couple of sizes um, and so I can't remember what sizes I was ordering last year and I tend to size up in coats well, I want to size up to the right amount where you can fit chunky jumpers underneath. So I went for a 10 in this, which I actually I was thinking would be too small. So I'm really glad that they have that extra room for chunky jumpers in that, in the size 10. Okay, perfect. Okay, next package. Also, can I just say that this is really awesome to see? They've got this label on here which says 100% recyclable, made from recycled material. And I think it's so, so good to see that big companies like Boohoo are making those changes to become more sustainable because I know that it is obviously our job as well to buy less. I mean, I know it seems like I still buy so many clothes and I know I've got a long way to go, but I, since last year, it is crazy the amount that I've reduced that I buy sort of fast clothes. So in, in a sense of buying things and wearing them once and throwing them away, away, I really don't have that mindset of clothes anymore. I think a big, 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 big thing is the companies making changes because that's gonna make the biggest difference is the company making changes to become more sustainable. So that's freaking awesome to see that they've got that on there. Okay, let's unbox this baby. This, this part. These bags are just filled with massive coats. <laughs> oh, okay, let's start with this one. Oh, no, actually, I'm gonna actually leave these because I feel like I might want to pair 
some of the other stuff with coats and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go on for the third package because I know that other one had two really freaking nice coats in it. So I went for this sweater. It looks, usually I'm not like, I don't tend to go for like sweatshirts on sort of websites like Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing. Like, oh, I'm really impressed with that. Cause I don't know, I just feel like sometimes the quality hasn't been there in the past when I've ordered sweatshirts and stuff. Um, but this one just really caught my heart with the contrast stitching and just, oh, with a cute pair of jeans and white trainers, like that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so here is the sweatshirt. I love it so much. The contrast stitching, like everything is just so, so gorgeous. I love how it fits. I love how, I've left that in the same position, haven't I? Yes, we got the full outfit. No, because of the contrast stitching, I feel like it was different from anything I'd ever seen, not ever seen before, that's very dramatic, but it had a different vibe to it and I really, really like it. It's really nice length as well, like it just comes to basically the high-waisted jeans height, which is great, and at the back as well, because I often tuck things in or do things at the back because they can look quite frumpy if they come down to a weird height. But this is really nice, like it's a really nice fit, really nice vibe. Okay, next we have a, what is this, roll neck knitted jumper. Okay, I don't tend to go for like many browns. Okay, that feels really nice and really soft. Okay, I'm just gonna try this one straight on because I'm worried that it's gonna be too tight on me as well. Um, I ordered it in the, oh, it doesn't say what size I got, medium. I ordered it in the medium. Okay, so here's the turtleneck. It is a gorgeous, comfortable fit. Like, it's very stretchy and the material is really nice and soft. Like I said, I'm flustered at the moment, so it kind of feels a little bit prickly, but with this one, I know that this is not. This is a very, very soft, lovely material. I love the fit of it. It just fits, like, sort of, it fits tightly, but then at the same time, it's really stretchy, so it's not restrictive at all, which is what I hate. If anything's, like, restrictive in any area, I just really don't like it. Okay, let's try it on with this coat. I just feel like that is gonna be really cute. Yeah, oh, that is so cute. Okay, I can just take this tag thing off this coat because, hello, this is, oh, wow. I'm not very good at pulling these off. I think you're meant to use scissors. Oh, see that? Very cute, awesome outfit. This coat is just gonna go with everything. Okay, okay. All the links will be in the description, as always, just to remind you. So let's do knit your jumper. Or should we change it up? Let's just do this, and then I've got a couple of things that I feel like we could try on with this. Ooh, I love stripey stuff. Okay, this actually feels like a really nice material as well. I'm just gonna try this one straight on. This is so cute. I love stripey stuff. The jeans and white trainers. Okay, I feel like I like everything with jeans and white trainers. That's how basic my fashion sense is. The heading for it on the website and on the label here says oversized. It's not oversized, in my opinion. So this is a medium, and it's, you know, it's tight-fitting. It's got stretch to it, a really nice amount of stretch, actually, because, again, it's tight-fitting, but I don't feel restricted at all. Um, but, yeah, I so I saw oversized, and usually when they mention or put in the title that something's oversized, it's quite oversized. I wouldn't take the oversizedness, from my experience, into your sizing. So just size normally, because, in my opinion, as for a medium, this is not... Um, oversized. Okay, again, this would look really cute with the coat and the trainers. Okay, um, let's try on with this, this coat. Oh gosh, I love the look of this coat. Oh, okay, what size did I go for? So I went for a 10. Is this the petite? I think this is petite, yeah, which is to do with the length. Ooh. Okay, so this is the petite, like I said, and so it is quite cropped. Now I have my jumper kind of, as I tuck them in, I often leave them down like that, but it is a little bit too cropped for that almost, so I just kind of go and tuck the whole jumper around. So it's gonna work really nicely with any outfits, which I basically wear a lot, which is jeans and something tucked in. This comes to a really great length, and like I said before, the length at the back will also sort of sit really nicely well, it depends on what you want, but I like the kind of cropped coat vibe. It is in the size 10. This isn't a ridiculously chunky jumper, but it is, you know, it's probably a usual size jumper. Just be cautious of what you want to wear under the jump, under the coat. If you want to wear very chunky or big hoodies or anything under this, I'd size up a couple of sizes just to be safe. Because it's cropped as well, like you're going to be able to size up a couple of sizes and it's not going to get too long. Do it up as well. Not that I ever freaking do my coats up, but... <gasps> Oh, they're real pockets. Oh my gosh. I really like that. Also the lighting. 
is seeming a little bit dodgy today. I hope it's okay. I feel like I have a really unprofessional camera setup. Like, I watch other people's YouTube videos and I'm like, wow, the lighting, the backdrop, everything's so professional, like the camera shots, the blurredness. And every time I watch mine, I'm like, okay, I've been on YouTube for quite a few years now and I'm just not up in my game. Oh gosh, I just started unboxing this without even telling you why I was unboxing. Okay, so next I am, oh, I've lost it. And I've lost the packaging. I am unboxing Utility Pocket Zip Detail Denim Jacket. So, this is basically kind of like a denim jacket, but it's got some funky things to it, and I think that's what the utility part is. I don't know, but it's basically just a black denim jacket, and I got it in the size 12. I haven't really got like a normal size denim jacket, if that makes sense. I got a really oversized one and then a really cropped one, and I kind of just wanted like a bit of a smarter one. Let me just try this on. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted. Not super oversized, not cropped, but just a kind of like mediocre, mediocre? <laughs> Medium sort of fit slash style to it with a little bit of funk defunk with these pockets and the kind of style that it is. I really like this. It is literally what it says on the tin. It's a, oh, actually to be fair, I did order this in a size 12. So that would be, around about sizing up one size for me and I could get a more chunky or thicker hoodie or something under here which is perfect oh for layering up because with like the denim jackets if it's not a thick coat you often so if it's like something like a denim jacket you often end up layering up more because obviously it's colder this is going so well okay let's do go on let's, let's unbox the shoes I can't remember what shoes I ordered to be honest boots of course of course I ordered some boots oh my gosh these just stole my heart I love chunky boots I wear them so much in the autumn winter and they were freaking croc and I have never owned actually that's not true I owned like a smarter pair of croc black boots but these ones are like my chunky biker boots but also croc is that how you say it? croc? I think so okay I'm gonna try these on with this skirt I'm very pessimistic about skirts and sort of lower half stuff you guys know that a lot of stuff doesn't come with stretch and so it doesn't fit my lower half a lot of the time but I did go for the size 12 like I said I'm, my legs slash thighs are usually a size 12 it doesn't have any stretch in it and I just flip myself in the face of the label um but it's so freaking cute okay I'm gonna try this on oh should I try it on that okay so this is the skirt I feel like it's not quite the right fit for me. It's just not comfortable. I wouldn't look forward to wearing it and that's just due to my body shape. So I wanted to try it on and show you because it's freaking adorable. And obviously we all have completely different figures and there's probably gonna be a lot of you out there that would love this skirt. I'm gonna just show it anyway because it's just so cute. I love the style of it. I love the style of this whole outfit. I feel like I'm kind of like librarian on top and then kind of like biker girl at the bottom. And I'm kind of feeling that a lot and this would also look so cute with little black tights um obviously as it starts to get colder little black tights oh i feel like going back to this freaking coat and just yeah, oh my gosh i have to put it on with it i have to put this on i feel like i just need to keep the skirt now just for this freaking outfit with little black tights and a black bag oh, oh my gosh if it fitted a good amount on my thighs but then was too loose on the waist like it is here I would I, like I wanted to wear a belt with it that's why I did go for the 12 because I knew that if it was too baggy I could wear a belt with it the only thing is in the 12 it's just not going to work on my thighs I could size it more but I think sometimes it's just safe to say that this type of skirt won't work for my body type such figure the shoes though the shoes oh my gosh i love them so much okay i'm gonna come back here and try and oh my gosh i literally love them so much the quality feels great they're so freaking comfortable um i don't know how much you could actually see right there oh they've got zips which is just the best so they've got a zip on the inside um and it's just so much easier because you don't have to faff around with the laces so i think this is the last thing that i have within the boohoo packages oh no there's something else here this coat <gasps> okay so I've gone for oh that is such a nice feel to it big like puffery wrap duvet coats basically because I always see people wearing these and I just think they look so nice and I often get these for like my dog walking coat but I kind of wanted like one to keep nice that didn't get muddy um, and didn't get ruined from walking my dog in the mud in the rain oh my gosh 
gosh. Okay, wow. This is very puffery, very oversized. What size do I actually go for? Uh, so this is the size 10. Like I said, very oversized. Um, and I personally would size down. Um, I just think there's so much room in it anyway. If you size down, it's still going to have that oversized vibe to it. There is huge amounts of room under here. Um, so I know that even if I size down to the size 8, I would probably still have room for um, jackets, ju not jackets, jumpers, hoodies, sweaters and all that kind of stuff. I love the vibe of the coat. Love the vibe of the coat. 100% going to reorder this in the size down because the quality of the coat feels lovely. Oh my gosh, that is ridiculously comfortable. The last thing we have is pyjamas. It is a super soft lounging, oh, lounge onesie. And I got it in a size medium. Oh, that is nice and soft. A really cute little onesie, but oh, there's just no way I'm gonna get the other arm in that sleeve. Oh, that's very tight as I'm sitting down. Okay, next we will have a little look at the Nasty Gal package. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember. Okay, so the first thing is this gorgeous cream knit jumper. <gasps> Feels like it's gonna be nice and soft. Oh, it's like a deep knit v-neck. <sighs> okay, I need to put my jeans back on because I feel like this is gonna look really cute with jeans and trainers. Once again, um, is there, you know, what shoes did I order? Tiny little box like this. Was it heels? Oh, how could I forget? This is gonna be so cute with this outfit. Okay, so I've been wanting to get, oh my gosh, look how beautiful they are some loafers that are like got the crocked style let me see if that'll focus oh that nail wow that is disgusting um some sort of croc style loafers for a while with like a little bit of a gold thing oh, they are literally just exactly what i've been looking for let's try on jeans jumper with the loafers okay oh my gosh i love this jumper i feel like this is my new fave new fave jumper it is really nice material it is really soft and i love the v-neck i don't own whenever i go for like snuggly autumn winter jumpers i often go roll neck or just like crew neck is that called you put it on it'll first sit like that and you're a bit like mm. but then oh, that's why i love a v-neck you pop it off the shoulder you put it back a little bit and it kind of like sits off the shoulder at the back and then it's just a really nice length i really really like it, the material is really nice as well. Um, now it is a let's see how far back we can go. Yes, I think I, I think my whole body's in. I, my eyesight is so bad. Um, so the two things are slightly different white colors. So this is more of a cream and this is like a bright white. So I don't know how well that goes together. I mean, I'm not too bothered by that sort of thing, but I do feel like it would look better the white loafers, jeans, and a bolder colored autumn jumper, like a red or a Ooh, burn orange, you know, that would look gorgeous. Um, but separately, obsessed with them both. Love the jumper, I know I literally just went over it, but we'll also just show what it looks like tucked in, because I feel like it tucks in quite nicely. And it's just a kind of nice amount of oversized, but then also not too oversized. And then the shoes, oh my goodness, I am obsessed with the shoes. I love them so much. They are so comfortable. I absolutely love them. They're exactly what I was looking for. They're just like, they look really smart. They look really luxury. They look really like posh. They feel and look nice. Like, I love them. Oh, it's the little bag. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh my gosh. So I got a little mini rucksack. I just had to, like, I absolutely love my guest rucksack that we unboxed in the trying things that I've never tried before from shops I've never tried before and I love it like I take my guest rucksack with me every single day anywhere I go that guest rucksack comes with me it's like my life but I wanted to get a smaller one. Oh my god it's so cute okay that is kind of freaking adorable but at the same time I don't know I feel like it just feels a little bit maybe it's because it, i'm used to my guest rucksack now guys i'm just comparing everything to the guest rucksack but i think it's the straps they just feel a little bit sort of thin and i don't know it's very very cute but i think i would rather stick with my guest rucksack if i was gonna kind of leave the house now with just my phone i'd probably still take my guest rucksack although that is so cute okay let's move on to this which is You've met your match knitted sweater and, oh, is this the sweater and the joggers? Oh, see, I always order these kind of things. So I always order like two, well, I did last year, last autumn anyway. I ordered quite a lot of sets of like, 
top and bottoms that are matching and knit and they were never good. They were never, never, never good. So I'm excited to try these ones on. Okay, so this is definitely the first knitted set that I've tried on that I haven't been like, right, that's not for me, I'm sending it back. Like, I actually like how it fits. I like the material. It's not uber, uber silky soft, um, but it's not itchy. It's not giving me any prickliness. It's not giving me any itchiness. Chuck a bit of fabric softener on there and we're on our way hopefully. Um, but it is very, very nice. I like the fit of it a lot. Um, ooh, I love it. Because I would wear this out the house. Like, I know it kind of looks like a pyjama set, but sorry, I'm getting this freaking coat out again. I'm just obsessed with this coat, with everything. This is why you have to get the autumn coat correct, because then it just like goes with everything. Okay, I feel like that would look really cute then. Also tucked in. Let me just sort myself out. See, I feel like that would look really cute with then a pair of white trainers. Let me just like slip them on. Um, ooh, or oh, the black boots. Okay, I'm putting the boots on instead. I'm getting too excited. I'm putting the boots on. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this outfit is adorable. See that? This is why you've got to create the comfy autumn vibes because you can still have the cute, fashionable autumn vibes whilst feeling like you're in your pajamas. Although these aren't as silky soft as PJs, they've still got a very comfortable vibe to them and the fit of them is really comfortable as well. I love that vibe. That's exactly the vibe that I was thinking of for an outfit when I was ordering this set. I was like, it can make like a really cute, comfy, cozy autumn outfit. Okay, so I think that's everything from Nasty gal, we will now move on to, I saw it first. Ooh, okay. What is this? Ooh, this is the scarf. Oh, I loved this so much. I really, oh my, oh. Oh my goodness, this is so soft. Now this is silky, silky, freaking silky soft. Like ridiculously, oh, look how nice this is. I knew I was gonna love this so much. Finding like your, oh, <laughs> yep. Finding your like dream scarf for autumn is just like, oh, such a key part, you know? Getting excited about the autumn outfits is finding the right scarf. That is so freaking silky soft. I love gray and white. I love the tone of gray. I love just oh, everything about this scarf is gorgeous. I love it. Oh, it even looks really cute with this outfit. Oh, I feel very snuggly, very autumny. Absolutely silky soft, love it. Okay, good start to the eye sort of first. Highly recommend the scarf. Ooh, 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 I can't wait to see what this is like. Okay, so lately I've been really into like brown coats, so like brown jackets, brown, as you can see. I was just gonna see if you could see a couple of them on there. Um, I love my brown blazer from Topshop, oh, so much. This was so cool because it had a similar looking vibe Oh my gosh, it actually feels really nice. But look, it had like a collar that was checked and the coat was brown. I just fell in love. I just thought it looked amazing on the model. I just loved how different it looked. I loved the style of it. So these are wet look leggings. Gonna try them on with the coat. That would look adorable. And then what's this? We have, ooh, double button blazer. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna put We've got two blazers and a pair of leggings, so I shall create an outfit for you now. Okay, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, so I just, I, I felt like this was a bit hit or miss. I didn't know if it was gonna look as cute as it did on the website because I thought the photo of it on the website was so, so lovely. And I was like, is that gonna come and be as nice in person? Well, I love it, I really do. I mean, the pockets are fake, which is a little bit of a letdown, but the material is thin. It's not like a coat, it's literally more like a blazer. Um, well, yeah, it is. It's as thin as a blazer, it fits like a blazer, but a lot of the time that gives you a more fluttering shape because it's thinner, it can just be a bit more body molding, but then also, I don't know, I just like the fit of blazers. I'm just loving blazers at the moment. Um, it is a bit more restrictive on the arm area. That's because it has a tighter fit to it. It's not super, the vibe isn't super oversized. It's quite smart. It's quite sort of 
you know, tighter to the body, tighter fitting, and so the arms are a little bit restrictive, but nothing that would worry me. Blazers have that vibe to them. It's not something that would worry me too much. Now, what size did I get? I should look before I put on the freaking stuff. It doesn't say what size it is, but I'll obviously have popped up a photo by now anyway. Um, but I really like the fit. I like the size. I wouldn't change the size. I really like how it fits and looks. Okay, so next we have the wet look trousers. Now, these are tight but all wet look trousers are so if i wanted a legging or bottom that fitted perfectly that didn't crinkle that didn't feel like it was too tight in some areas i wouldn't go for a let work let work wet look bottom i wouldn't go for a leathery style i wouldn't go for any of this type of shiny material because a lot of the time they do not work but i am quite impressed with these ones and i'm Last year I decided to, and this year again, I'm willing to sacrifice slight comfort, slight, you know, crinkling and not quite fitting 100% because I love the style, I love the look of these type of wet look leggings and I pretty much always, this outfit is obviously different, I couldn't really find a jumper that was perfect for the outfit um, in a short space of time so I just went for a white top but usually I would go for, say, a white jumper that came down longer because also the blazer is nice and long as well you can get away with a longer line jumper actually that one could look quite cute or i think it's a bit too chunky actually no and the colors don't really work um but what i was trying to say was with the wet look leggings with this style of legging i often wear an oversized jumper actually what i can do is take off this coat and i love the inside too which i love very very much blazer not coat and then I'll show you how I would wear the wet look leggings. Because they're a bit more crinkled, because they're a bit more whatever, I tend to go for baggy jumpers over them and I just love the vibe of them with baggy oversized jumpers. Yes, 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 yes. I love that look, I love it. Little wet look legging, poking out, and it's comfortable enough, you know, it's actually really comfortable. Um, a size 12 could have actually given me the extra comfort I needed on the thighs, but, would it have been too baggy on the waist? Probably not, to be honest. These aren't like ridiculously, you know, they're a nice fit in the 10. Probably wouldn't be too baggy in the 12. So with the wet look leggings, don't be afraid to size up just because I do think they look really good still with a little crinkle, with a little bit of bagginess in them, like these do have. Crinkles, bagginess, and they don't have to be super, super tight to look really, really good. Mm. Okay, so I've unboxed the white blazer and I'm personally, I'm gonna choose not to try it on just because from the feel, of the blazer i don't like the material of it i just think that it feels cheap and especially um considering the comparison of this one like i love and they're from they're both from my store at first i love this style i love the quality and i want to recommend that um i mean i'll try this one on just so you guys can see it but i just want to be you know clear on what i do recommend and what i don't yeah, i hadn't tried it on but obviously as you can see, I don't think it fits in the most flattering way, but it, for me it was mostly the material. I just didn't think the material was like good enough quality. That's so funny because I was literally getting to the end of this haul and I was like, that's actually a bit freaky how every single thing has been like perfect, like so nice. And then there has to be something each time that just isn't quite there because that's life, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna pull up this chair and come and talk to you. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and for my self-love talk at the end of today's video, I just wanna quickly talk about positive thinking. I know I spoke a little bit about this on my story, but this week I've been focusing so much um, and sort of reading up and doing a bit of research on the power of positive thinking. And I know sometimes it can sound so like mumbo jumbo -y of just like, and the universe will attract this to you. And I know that that's, if you're starting out or you haven't really thought much into these things, it can be quite off-putting. But you know, the basis of what I've been reading up on and what I've been finding so helpful is just the power of positive thinking and the power of switching our mindsets and the the whole thing is basically positive thoughts and a positive outlook on life will attract positives to your life negative thoughts and negative mindsets and outlooks on life will attract negativity towards your life and i think sometimes i work really well with just being told look if you're positive you're going to feel positive you're going to be positive and positive things are going to come to you to start Every time you're getting a negative thought, think, okay, negativity, not good for my attracting positive thoughts. So I'm going to switch that. I'm going to think about something positive. And obviously have down times. You can have bad days. There, of course, are appropriate times for negatives and feeling, you know, frustrated, angry, and sad. I get hit up about the smallest freaking things. Like, I can't even think of an example, but 
if I'm having, say, a day where I just pick, want to pick out everything I hate about my face and I'm just like, oh my gosh, my eyelashes are so small, oh my gosh, my eyebrows are just like, why can't I have eyebrows like hers, why can't I have this like hers, every time I find myself doing that now, I'm like, okay, that's really bad for you. And I knew that before, but sometimes I just need like a method and if anything, it just gives you a positive mindset and it helps you process your thoughts in your mind and just be more mindful of what's going on in your head and trying to encourage yourself um, to have a more positive mindset. Let me know if you guys have any good like book suggestions or anything about mindset. I've been absolutely loving it and to be honest it's been helping me a lot because I'm the type of person that gets very hit up and very negative about small things and over the past few years I have been working on, as you guys know, so much to switch my um, mindset to a more positive one and I I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm a completely different person. Like I am a completely different person. Um, my emotions are so much more under control. I struggle so much less with jealousy. I struggle so much more with, less with body confidence. More with body confidence? More with not self having self confidence? Can't think of a way to put that around. You know what I mean. Um, so I love talking about this kind of stuff um, because if it can help you guys as much as it helped me, then that's very positive for me. My mind is so powerful. You are so powerful. You are so special. You're so unique. And I love you so, so much. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I am rambling so much at the end of today's video. You can tell I've been reading way too many books on this type of stuff lately. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave me a comment below. I love reading a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Um, welcome to my channel. And also I have a vlog channel where me and my husband upload many times a week. So I will see you over there. Make sure you subscribe to that if you haven't already. Already. and if not I will see you guys in the next video and I love you so much. Bye guys! Mwah.